Okay, in this video, I took a Mac inspired theme and changed the colors to Everforest. Now, the interesting part is if you look carefully into most of the Mac inspired themes, they're mostly meant to be used with colorful gradients. But on the other hand, if you look into the Everforest color palette, it's quite the opposite. Most of the colors are saturationless and has this grayish tone. So I thought what interesting results could come out from this. By the end of this video, your desktop will look like this. And before I start, I will get GUI Auto Theme Installers in the description below. So you need not watch this video, just go over there and you can download the installer and apply the theme, con key, install the dependencies, extensions, everything just by using the installer. Alternatively, you can also get the config file. So just use Evolve version 1.5 for applying the config. If you have the 1.4 release, just upgrade to the version 1.5 because these configs won't work with the previous version of Evolve. After applying the config in your system, you can skip a major portion of this video and watch the end where I will be showing you how you can install the con key. Alternatively, you can watch the video where I have explained everything in details. Okay, let's start the video. Now, I already have the theme installed. I can actually open uh, this in terminal for uninstalling it. You basically have to run the same installer, which also includes the uninstallation page. Now, let's head over and uninstall. That's all. As you can see, with the click of a button, I can actually uninstall everything related to the theme. Now, dash to dock was already installed in my system. Uh, the first step that you need to go through is get Evolve. Just open your web browser and head over to this website, which is uh, sites.google.com. Now here you will always get the latest release of Evolve. Previously, it was possible to get misguided easily by just searching on the internet for downloading the latest release. But right now it's much easier with this link. So just head over here. I'll actually shorten the link to something else. So it will be much easier later. Okay, just go to download version 1.5. And as you can see, here we get the download page and just get the zip file and double click it will extract and here we have the install.sh you basically have to run install.sh and it will install the software now if you see the file manager has a different theme because it is the gtk4 theme it takes time to apply everywhere you actually have to log out and log back in in order to see the changes alternatively what i actually do after applying gtk4 theme for checking the changes i open the settings app so if I just close and reopen the settings app, it uses the current theme, which is the default uh, advoita or libadvoita, GTK4 theme. Okay, now let's open Evolve and get a couple of extensions that we need. So I'll head over to extensions. Now remember that Evolve is an alpha software, so there are improvements going on. It leads to problems sometimes. As you can see, the current wallpaper is something and it is showing a cached version of the previous wallpaper. So if you apply the wallpaper from the app itself, the problem doesn't happen. Anyway, this video is not about Evolve. Just head over to extensions and go to download. And first things first, you need to install user themes. User themes will allow you to change the shell theme. Uh, search for user theme. And as you can see, this is user themes. So load shell themes from your user directory and it's already installed. So I don't need to install it. Next, I'm going to install arc menu and here we have art menu install now as you can see there are settings which were previously applied and they reappear over here uh, but i'm going to show you how you can apply them by yourself because you won't get this activity or the workspace view over here the pill shaped view after installing art menu now for the next extension we need um Fripri clock so Fripri move clock, which will move the clock to this side. Install and done. Okay, that was easy. Now, as you can see, this is what it looks like. For arc menu, just head over to settings. I'm going to show you what you need to do. Go to menu, sorry, menu button. Here you will get this option for choosing a new icon. Now you can choose any icon, whatever you feel like. So I'm using this one. It looks nice. And uh, from general, 
you have to turn this on which is show activities button one more extension i forgot to install is app menu is back install and done Evolve actually provides a pretty easy way to manage all your extension and it also provides this nice place for downloading uh, available extensions. So you only see those which are compatible with your system in the search results. Okay, done. Okay, for the next step, we are going to install a theme. So just open the Firefox web browser and search for Everforest. Everforest GTK. Now, in the previous Everforest theme, uh, someone commented that the borders don't really look good. They are dated and old. Now, personally, I like the borders very much. So, in this theme, we are not going to use the borders. Now, if you want, you can also download Everforest theme from here. I actually forgot. So, you can just search for the uh, Everforest theme here and download it from here. Now, in this video, let's stick to the web browser because it's already open. Here we have the Everforest GDK theme and actually it allows you to choose which version you want to install. That is not available in the automatic installation. So yeah, head over to download and let's go for the Everforest Dark borderless Mac buttons dot zip and hit download. Now I already have it downloaded. I'll just install it from Evolve. So just open the package installer head over to the, the download directory and as you can see we have the Everforest Dark Mac buttons borderless. So this is the theme pack and install. Done. Now you don't need to restart Evolve, just head over to a different I, uh, tab and then again go back to uh, theme. That actually works well. Now as you can see the first option available is the Everforest Dark BLMB and we are going to apply that looks nice it doesn't have any borders i think it looks good now as you can see we have this uh, blue color which uh, doesn't look like that of everforest so we are actually going to change the colors from edit color option so what you can do just open the filter option or select it over there and just select the blue colors from here you can use the uh, hue and saturation values to choose colors which you want to actually change so let's set the saturation and hue accordingly and those colors will be selected. So as you can see, we have selected most of the blues and uh, it looks nice. So we'll just select or apply the yellowish greenish Everforest color from the color selector and it will get applied. So if I turn off use filter, as you can see, most of the colors are changed to green. So like this, you have to actually change the colors of GTK 3, 4 and Gnome Shell to get something like this one. Now, as you can see, we have a green version and also a default version. Now, the default version, uh, the difference is, let me show you, as you can see, it uses the green color in the green version. And if we switch over to the default version, we will get this blue color. So it's pretty easy. Now, let's head over to the icons, download. And let's search for the icon pack which we want to install. So Nord C is the icon pack we need to install. Now you can install it from inside the app or you can manually search or open the repository from here in order to install. The only difference is in the other version of installation, if you're using the green version, you have to use this one which is the manual installation approach. It is basically getting the repository yourself and installing everything from there. So I'll just copy this link and git clone here. Okay, it already exists. So I've already cloned it over there. So I'll just copy and cd into the directory. Now, the only reason I did not install it from Evolve is, well, uh, if you install it from Evolve, you have to go for the default version of the icon, icon pack. So if I just install it, as you can see, uh, the official installation is tried and if you open the Evolve uh, app, a separate instance, head over to icons, as you can see, we get the blue color files. Now the blue color files go well with the blue color theme, but if you want to use the green version, you have to go for the green edition. You have to run this install.sh with the T flag and just go for green. Now if you want uh, other option, you can actually just enter help and you will get all the variants and options available now we just want the color variant to be dark along with the theme to be green 
that's it done as you can see north sea green dark is installed so if i relaunch the app i'll just close this and get out of here and relaunch evolve i can apply it from here which is the north sea green dark now if i open the file manager as you can see the icons are green but for this you have to actually go for the green version of the theme which is everforest mac green this is how it looks Okay, now let's apply the wallpaper. I've actually saved it inside pictures or home. I don't really remember where I kept the wallpaper. Yeah, it's there in documents. So again, there is the green edition and you also get the blue edition. So if I apply the green one, it will automatically update the album and you will get the blue version right beside it. So just click the blue version if you want to apply the blue edition and done. Now uh, let's install the con key. Till here everything could be applied with the single click of a button from the config tab by just uh, running applying config and getting the config from the link in the description. So if the you applied it from there, that's all done. And now you can just apply the con key, which is the final part. Uh, I forgot to show you some more stuff which is inside extensions. Mm, I actually have some other stuff enabled. So we have dash to dock, so it's there. And I edited some stuff over here. So I changed the icon limit to be somewhere around uh, 32. That's all. Now for the next step, we are going to install Blur My Shell. I also installed it from the extensions store and you can uh, head over to the settings page to modify some of the stuff. So currently two effects are applied, so manage them and change uh, some of the stuff over here so you can add effects by clicking here add noise effect and change the noise parameters to match this to give this subtle noise over there and uh, and for the native Gaussian blur this is how it looks you can actually reduce the brightness or increase it accordingly now if you notice carefully it does not affect the upper portion that is because I turned this off, which is override background. If you turn it back on, you will notice you can change the stuff over here. I prefer to keep it off because it looks original according to the theme and it looks nicer. Now let's install the con key. Okay, I have the con key defined right over here. I'll just install some fonts. That is the JetPrince, Mono and Montserrat. Uh, just extract and install them. It's easy. So double click open the fonts and install that's all you need to do. I already have them installed I'm not going to install them again. So I'll just head over to conkey.conf which is the main file that we require and some of the assets and more we just need to copy. Oh we also need font awesome you have to install in a similar manner. Uh, let me also show you how you can get font awesome from the internet. So just search for font awesome. These links are available in the description below so you can download from there. You know, start. Just click on download and as you can see we have the font awesome 6.6.0 available for da download. Just download the package and install it. That's all we need. So I just have to create a folder named AT inside the home directory and then create another folder named the UID8 paste the files. That's all. Done. Now just open in terminal. We have to install conkey so sudo apt install conkey. Some distributions need to install Conkey all, for example, Ubuntu. So just install it. That is all done. Now, in order to check the installation, you have to run Conkey. And as you can see, it works fine. Now, let's use the config that we have. Conkey.conf. Okay, let's create another folder, name it as Conkey. Inside that, we are going to keep all the files. And after you run the config, you will get this, which is basically the Conkey. And yeah, I forgot to show you the config. So this is the config that I have. So you can directly copy all the config inside your con key and it will just work the same way. So this is basically what you need. And if you are wondering where I got these icons from, uh, just head over to the official website of uh, Font Awesome. Just search for Font Awesome and search for icons. Now I'll just search for like weather, head over to free tab and you can copy any weather element icon from here and paste it over there. So if I just copy the glyph of moon, I can paste it inside here and it just looks like the moon. 
And finally, for the last step, if you want, you can change the uh, deconf variable so that we have the window buttons on the left side. So I'll just search for maybe button. Here we have it. So I'll just change the default value and change the stuff accordingly. So you'll just need to change the colon to the other side. Now just move the close option to the left. Next, move the maximize and finally the minimize. This is how you can move the title bar icons to the left side, just like you get on Mac. Okay, so that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.